Okay, yo, what's up, what's up, live stream elators? Um, okay, now we're gonna look at a really cool tip how to enable this awesome thing from NVIDIA called deep learning super sampling. If you don't know what that is, it's super cool. The deep learning side of it is basically that the NVIDIA graphics cards have a thing called tensor cores, which are uh, used for AI based rendering. And this deep learning super sampling is basically the AI has been fed a load of images of games with no anti aliasing and been fed the same footage with anti aliasing enabled. The AI then gets temporal feedback, which is this here, which is basically, it's working out the difference between low quality and high quality games. So you might think that sounds like a quality, uh, quality measure, like to make your games more high quality, uh, but what it is, it's actually a performance measure. Deep learning super sampling system is downscaling everything and then re-upscaling it. That's why it's a performance thing, because say you got a 4K video, downscaling it to 1920 by 1080 and then using the DLSS to run that smaller image and upscale it again to a higher quality. So yeah, you can see, here we go, it's still running at 4K. See the frames per second up there in the corner, getting twice as many frames per second out of this and nicer image at the same time. What is this madness? Yeah, so you can change between like quality mode, performance mode, blah, 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 but the performance is still great. It's amazing. Okay, so there's actually a SIG performance based system and we can enable it in our Unreal projects. You got a you got an NVIDIA graphics card around the 20 series or above I imagine. I'm only running a 2080 so you should be able to see some effects. Let's uh, jump in and enable this in our levels. So yeah, in your level if you want to enable DLSS, you just got to enable it as a plugin. So we'll go edit plugins, uh, type DLSS. Uh, you could do the movie render queue support as well if you like. That will, you know, obviously just improve this uh, rendering speeds, not only at runtime but at rendering time as well. Very cool. I'll just restart. Yeah, go down to here. Literally simple as this. Once you've enabled the plugin, you've now got some DLSS settings here. So you can set it to quality. We got some finer grain going on. Immediately see a change. Uh, pilot our camera just to see what's going on. Yeah, DLSS. Uh, settings, turn it off. See, we've got way more like grain and stuff around here. I've got focus blurs. Turn it back on quality again. Super sharp edges. Don't see much change in quality, which is a great thing, obviously. But as your levels get more built out and stuff like that, if you want to press Shift Control H, you can just check on your FPS while your stuff's running. Um, and that's literally all there is to it. It's just a very simple little extra addition that you can make that will that will massively see just enabling it in some way or another will massively massively help out your your renders and your system really 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 nice yeah these these focus pools and stuff look slightly different with it changing cameras different distances it's looking really nice definitely something worth enabling in your game and just fiddle about whether you whether you want which of those quality types that's up to you Multi -multi.